2024 is going to be the big year here in Illinois. Uh, we have both uh, brood 13 and brood 19. So brood 13 uh, is the Northern Illinois brood. This is a 17 year cicada. Um, and then the brood 19 is a 13 year cicada. So this is the great Southern brood. Um, they are both emerging uh, this year. I think this is percent since the 1800s that this is that both of these broods have emerged at the same time so down here in jacksonville we're going to get the great southern brood about where you guys are at it's going to be the northern illinois brood um again these these cicadas have been in the ground for seven 13 or 17 years they're going to be emerging um it's going to be happening in may or june uh, of next year um and the northern illinois brood um has a reputation of being the largest emergence of cicadas known anywhere so you guys are lucky you're gonna have all kinds of cicadas everywhere um, so, so one of the concerns with these periodical cicadas, um, you know, we have thousands and millions of these all coming out at once. Uh, when they lay their eggs, they're going to lay their eggs in small branches and stuff. I see that yellow arrow, the arrow that's pointing to its ovipositor. So that's its egg laying device. It uses that to cut into branches. You can see those little holes and slits, cuts into branches, uh, and lays its eggs. Um, and that can cause, uh, damage to the, to the trees and stuff like that. Um, and mature trees, we can get flagging. So you can see all those brown stuff. Uh, those are those smaller branches where they've cut those slits and laid their eggs. And again, that's reduced the flow of water and nutrients to those leaves, uh, and they start to die. On mature trees, that's that's not really a big deal. Um, they'll look a little rough, but they will grow out of that. Um, on smaller trees, um, I think it's things uh, about an inch or so, inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches, um, you know, they will lay their eggs in that. So if you have small caliper trees, they could potentially lay their eggs uh, in the trunks of those trees and kill them. So if you planted any trees uh, this spring, this fall, you're going to want to try to protect those. So protect them with netting is going to be the, the easiest way to do this. Um, there you can get, um, you know, netting, the hole should, the, the opening should be no larger than one a half an inch uh, on that netting wrap that around the trees, secure it uh, to the base of the tree so they can't climb up the tree. So make sure it's it's tight. You don't want too tight where it's digging into the tree, uh, but so the, the cicadas can't climb up, you know, bag those trees, protect them with netting, uh, keep those, those cicadas off of those, those young uh, newly planted trees. If you were planning on planting trees in the spring, I would not do it this year. I will wait until after the cicadas are done laying eggs the adults can live up to a month. So you're looking at like maybe July sometime before you're in the clear. It's probably not the best time to do planting trees. You probably want to wait till, till the fall to plant trees. And there are some species of trees that's best to plant them in the, in the spring. Um, so I would wait in the evergreens and stuff like that. I would wait until uh, 2025 to plant some of these trees potentially. Um, or if you do plant them, you're, you're going to need to protect them. Uh, so you're not getting some severe damage or potentially killing uh, some of these smaller trees. Um, you know, sometimes people will spray them, uh, but the studies have been done. There really wasn't much of a difference between sprayed trees and non-sprayed trees when it comes to cicada damage. Um, so netting that netting your trees is going to be the best bet. Uh, again, if it's a large, mature, established tree, you don't have to worry about it. You probably see some flagging, but the tree should be able to survive. And, and send out a new flush uh, of leaves.